A new study suggests the deadly H7N9 virus may have originated from chicken and duck influenza viruses. 27 people in China have died from the virus, and scientists are watching it spread closely, hoping it doesn't spark a global pandemic. Paul Johnson has more on China's latest efforts to wipe out this strain of bird flu. China's live chicken markets, some closed, others disinfected after scientists proved they were the likely reservoir of H7N9. And in hospitals and labs, a scramble to better understand the virus's genetic makeup and its effect on people. What's known so far is frightening. People getting very sick, very fast, and with a mortality rate hovering around 20 percent. Highlighting the seriousness of the outbreak, China's number two leader, Premier Li Keqiang, inspected an H7N9 control lab. As the death toll climbed higher this week, there was also news that the virus may have started to mutate into a form that could be easier to pass from person to person, the most feared scenario. So far, there's little panic in China, though. Over the May Day holiday, tourists flocked to scenic Hangzhou province, despite it being the epicenter of the outbreak. I'm not afraid, says this visitor. And this man said he even ate chicken yesterday. In fact, in the Westlake resort area of the province, the only sign of a serious avian flu outbreak is that the park's signature peacocks have been rounded up and put in cages to keep them away from wild birds. As fast as this virus has been spreading and mutating, scientists have actually been making headway of their own. There's news now that a Colorado company has developed a prototype vaccine for H7N9. If it's successful in clinical trials, it could be available in a matter of months. Robin? Our Asia correspondent, Paul Johnson.